but Utama Zimba Atlar. This is how we can start the year with Clara chewing in the background. All right, Happy New Year, everybody. Guess who's back? Back again. I am back. I know you guys have been asking me to come back. Mother, when are you coming back on YouTube? And you know, I've been saying, when I come back, I'll come back with a bang. I believe this is a bang. <laughs> but it feels so good to be back. Listen, welcome, welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's LKG, you guys have been asking me, when am I coming back on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. And I took some time off YouTube. Like I did say that, you know, when I deliver content, it has to be meaningful content, but also with a bit of fun. So I'm officially back. For those who just tuned in for the very first time, my name is Lerato Kanyao, LKG, the mother to all. Some call me Zorom, Zoristo, Sentao Lele, Matete, whatever you want to call me. Do the right thing and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. So, plans for this year. I'm hoping, praying, promising Nyana to be consistent on YouTube. Have to be. I think I owe you guys that much, truly speaking. So I'd like to also say thank you to people that have been really, really patient with me. You know, like I said, people have been sending me DMs. Mother, when are you coming back on YouTube? We miss you so much. But I've been thinking about like, you know, what am I going to bring back to YouTube? And there's a lot of things that I'm going to be bringing back. Uh, in the past year, actually, so many things have happened. And I think in this episode, I'm going to be, I don't want to say, there's an airplane, but whatever. I don't want to say I want to address anything because I don't want to. There's certain things that don't need to be addressed at all, whether it be on my platform or anything else. But there's things that maybe I will touch on that I feel I need to, but it won't be formally also. It'll just be casually, maybe while I'm driving to a gig or while I'm sitting here or actually while I'm cooking. So one of my friends is here. Uh, you guys know her. She is no stranger to YouTube. Clara is here. She's in the background. She's, you can hear her chewing. Are you proud of yourself? I've got a home. It's what get like. You can have kind of your first thing, man. There's some rice cakes. These are my favorite. These actually are my really, 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 really favorite uh, crispy rice crackers. But you already have you having rice cake, so you want these ones. Say hi. Don't be rude. So you're not gonna be here for long. No. Okay. These are my favorite. Thank you, Happy New Year, Nyana. Wow. Happy guys. New Year. <laughs> Okay, so clearly she, don't, she doesn't want to be featured on this episode, but trust me, she will be on one of the episodes. You guys, I know you guys love her so much, so hey, Clara Banks. So, um, yeah, I'm actually going to be making her a sandwich, her and myself, because we are fasting. Uh, we're doing the Daniel fast, uh, so we're staying away from meat, fish, chicken, um, so many things. So basically, we are vegans or vegetarians for the next 21 days, you know? Um, and this is what we do every single year. I always say it's food for the soul, right? This is how we kickstart the year, basically setting the tone for the year. I know there's a lot of people that do it, um, you know, in the beginning of the year. Some people don't do it. I mean, we all have like, you know, different things that we do. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to be prepping a sandwich. This chicken though is for my husband. My husband, my husband. And I guess who? Beyonce, eh? My husband, my, my husband. So it's Sunday, so you know, I have to cook for him. And this is probably the most traumatic thing that I do because I love chicken. So he's not fasting, I am. And he still wants his Sunday lunch. So that's what I'm going to be preparing. And whew, I'm gonna try very hard not to even taste the chicken. <laughs> And chances are I probably won't because I'm very disciplined when it comes to the Daniel fast. It really does wonders for me. So where do I start? Oh, first I need to thingy my water. I'm coming now. This is my favorite thing to do by the way. I found these jeans in my cupboard. So this, you know, I've decided to actually always have a thingy of water. It's an urn, right? Do you still call it an urn, Clara? And you know, in the hood, we call it like and check a meat. Okay, fair enough. So, I decided to have constantly have this. So, my goal is to finish, you know, start drinking the water. I fill it up all the way to here. Well, now because we're like halfway through the day, so I've got it off. And my goal is to finish the entire thing. So, you know, I measure myself. It's really, really hard, but so far, so good. 
so I want to start adding like the lemon and stuff while telling you guys about the past year what I got up to you know things that I got up to how 2022 was for me that's weird already in 2023 so 2022 a lot of good things happened I think more good things than bad and also I don't think like bad things happen but there's a lot of things obviously that left a very bad taste in my mouth that I will be talking about like I said casually so in the next um, two or three episodes so today I'm shooting three episodes okay I'm going to shoot two because I've got a gig later on by the way big shout out to all the promoters that have been booking me see ya bonga baba you're not gonna join me Clara yes my love. you're not gonna join me what is this for actually I've been wanting to it looks like a filter, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I put all the, yeah. the lemons. The lemons and the cucumbers. So not in here? Yeah. Oh, so I put them in here? Smart girl. Makes sense. Ah, even if it is wrong, listen. It's good technique, yeah, Um, I know somebody's probably going to ask me where I bought this. I bought this for Westpac. Our favorite shop, yeah. So, yeah. I bought it there. No, they're not paying for this. <laughs> but you know, I buy a lot of my like plates and glasses and a lot of like kitchen stuff but that's really affordable. Ne? The captain, yo yo, if I had to show you guys the captain that thing more, one day I will. And I buy most of them from there. But anyway, back to how 20 your number way, Ibodile Lemon Eona. Ibodile. Ibodile like some people that I know, huh? Okay. No, it's brown here though, mate. Uh, no, this is definitely it's rotten. Rotten like some people that I know. Rotten. Rotten. So yeah guys. 2022 was amazing. First things first, I bagged two shows last year. So I was back on TV full on. I mean I think there was like two months where I was on TV Monday to Monday, okay? Except the I think I need to fill it up more. <laughs> or maybe just ah cover lich yeah but now you've got lemons that are not being touched commit then i'm not getting water okay one second so i think in the interim i'll just be oh i don't have a jar anyway okay this will work for now do not judge please i wanted to add cucumber but I'm going to add cucumber in our sandwiches. Ne? There you go. So we have a. I don't know why I'm wearing heels, but it's for posture. Okay. So we'll leave the water there. So 2022 was amazing for me. As I said, I bagged two new shows. Amazing. So I got a new show which uh, is called Forever Maybe. Um, it's basically about married couples that are going through a lot of challenges, you know, it was on Zansi Magic and it did so well, unexpectedly so, because before it even came out, there was a lot of bad reviews, not, not a lot of bad reviews, but a lot of people were being negative about it, even before it actually um, went on air. So some people were saying things like, but why is Lato is a newly weird? But I think mostly because they didn't read the caption that it said that I'm going to be basically holding the couple's hands while they go through like intense therapy with a um, resident therapist. Uh, he's absolutely amazing. Love him so much, Lindani. And um, let me tell you, it was probably the most stressful show I've ever done in my life and completely different to all the other shows that I've done so that did very well um, it was emotionally exhausting because I had to invest myself emotionally in the show to the couples I mean I got attached to some couples there their stories some you could relate especially as a newlywed 
but it was really um, educational, more informative than anything else and I enjoyed it. I had so much fun. That was our first season, did very, very well. So crossing fingers that I'll be in the second season. We'll see how that goes. And then still on TV because I just want to get TV away. Um, then I got the World Cup show. Now that was amazing. We did Good Morning Qatar. It was probably the most exhausting show I've ever done in my life. Well, actually, I had done it before because I did Good Morning Qatar, which was many years ago. Uh, it's just basically, um, what is it? It's World Cup highlights, but very much more lifestyle orientated type of thing, which is what's really, really dope. But waking up at four o'clock in the morning, call time, 5 a.m., Monday to Friday was really hectic and I had to do radio and then I had gigs so right now and I cannot wait to go and leave in Feb so I'm going on leave from Ewa I hate flies it's in Pugan it's in Pugan it's in Pugan it's in Pugan am I being extra hey what's that if I do there's nothing that I hate I literally have like doom in all corners of this house Okay, it's gone now. Nope, it's not. So anyway, so I did the World Cup show. It was fun. Sorry guys, I have to do this. Uh, so I did that. That was for eight weeks. Eight weeks, yeah, it was for eight weeks. And I enjoyed it. And then I had to quickly jump onto, but again, I had to jump on to back to gigs so you can imagine that I've been working non-stop back to back radio TV radio TV gigs so I'm very I'm very very tired but as tired as I am I said you know I deserve to I deserve to actually you guys deserve to get at least an episode one or two episodes this month before I go to leave or three depends so yeah what else has been happening Clara no I'm fine what this is the right way yeah but that's also very dangerous what one what one what one yeah let me teach you let me teach you cover leech Thanks, friend. Can I have the other one? I get up making two sandwiches. Are you eating the pip? Hey, so we took me to it. Are you wanna deep loof got me? I mean Oja. Guys, am I the only one that used to try as a kid, try and plant these pips, this pip? And then nothing would grow. As a kid. Max did it really yeah. in water you put two things oh but then again we've got we've got the master of evos max is from venda oh. so, <laughs> so he knows all things evos <laughs> all things fruits yeah 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 kind of what do you guys have like mangoes banana is durban oh them oh really bananas okay <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, wow. Masonjaki <laughs> fruit. Only Clara Banks. It doesn't go, but don't you pick it from trees? I've never done it, but. We. No, it's still on a tree. It's still on a plant. The debate about Evos and Masonja and. <laughs> really? You get it from trees. Masonja? Yeah. No, I know, but they don't grow from trees. What are you saying? Please don't, don't, don't embarrass my so-called deep proof. <laughs> so my sonja is a fruit. Oh my God. Anyway, that's Clara for you. So, yeah, where was I? You see, now I lost my train of thought. Anyway, so back to what else happened last year. So it was television. Then there was, oh, radio. Guys, radio is my home my love i don't want to say my first love because i love them equally actually that's television and radio so i the way i have grown in radio i mean getting my first show about a year ago the show doing so well so i before proverb joined me for this fiscal 
I was uh, I got the opportunity to actually do 12 to 3 alone and the midday link up with LKG it did so well um, I don't want to say Nikiti Nyata but you know it was more of a because you had been paired with someone for so long that you start thinking Ish, am I going to do as well alone and I really did when I did it alone I did so so well it's still doing really well now but I just want to take you through the, the journey of when I did it alone it was the most liberating thing I've ever done in my life um, I always say I found my voice uh, my confidence on air but people really genuinely fell in love with a different Lerato now because then I felt like I could truly be myself you know they got to learn a different side of Lerato which was absolutely amazing the show did well I mean I think there was a time when I was number one revenue meaning I was bringing in the most money which is fantastic um, that for me that's something I will constantly gloat about because <laughs> meaning that all the clients were like okay G okay G you know uh, because also I mean most of the clients I work with I love and really respect you know and I go all out for clients I go all out for clients even if it's I'm done with a campaign I normally somehow incorporate it into whatever that I'm doing later on so it doesn't mean that if I work with um, whatever brand and after the campaign is done I forget about them and move on to the next thing no I'm still there especially if they treated me well so yeah then I we moved on to the next fiscal and then Proverb joined me I won't lie in the beginning I was a bit skeptical because I didn't know Proverb and to me Proverb came across as someone who was prim and proper who's like I thought he was like uptight I promise you it took us a month and now we are literally inseparable when he's not at work we are constantly checking on each other um, we work so well together we understand each other thoroughly and one thing I really respect about Proverb is that he's so content with where he is with everything that he does so there is no competition or hogging the mic or who needs to speak for how long or who needs we literally switch on the mic and everything just works so well uh, of course with Melanie Melanie is remarkable and the show is doing well um, at some point we're number one revenue but I think now we're number two which is fine because we're going to fight for our spot back again <laughs> at number one crossing fingers of oh, crossing fingers that's if I make it to the next fiscal um, so yeah so radio is doing really really well um, Everyone on work, at work is just happy, man. There's a great vibe. Go, go, metro, man. You know, who, who peacefully. Everyone is just like working hard, you know. Um, no weird vibes from anybody. It's just really great. And I do a lot of stand ins now uh, for drive time, which is amazing. I stand in for the amazing Tigo Touch and people have received me while there when i stand in i stand in for dj sabi doing top 30 which is also just as great but top 30 is like so pacey you know because i mean the show is three hours long and you have to count down like count down 30 of the biggest songs in the world in those adding content back announcing this ads so just have to be on point it's a very pacey show and i enjoy it it actually reminds me of when i was doing live amp because live amp was when i did it it was 24 minutes well i think when i started it was an hour and then it moved to 30 minutes which is 24 minutes excluding ads and live amp was also just as pacey and before you know it boom the show is done so those were the days so that's radio um, are you okay oh I don't know why it doesn't she just want to get in the shot I don't have makeup on. you don't have makeup on okay it's fine your makeup <laughs> your makeup artist did not arrive okay friend how was 2022 for you Am I going to be able to pick up Clara on this mic? Yeah. Okay. How was 2022 for you? Incredible. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Yeah. 
Was it? Yeah, I think most of us we bounce back from. Yeah, I think a lot of people in 2022, 2022, I think it was like recovery for a lot of people because you know a lot of people went through a lot uh, financially, emotionally during COVID, and 2022 the year opened up and um yeah and everyone just did so well in 2022 it was a really productive year for a lot of people and if it was not a productive year for you um here's another brand new year for you to start afresh and try again so yeah so radio radio is done then there were so many other things that happened flutter by lkg which is my brand my sanitary towels officially went to clicks or are available at clicks <laughs> that's Tima Tachuan it's a Tima Tachuan that went to a private <laughs> you have no idea how long we guys the process of getting your product in a store please it's not you don't wake up in the morning and then like call clicks and say yeah i've got sanitary towels and i want to bring them to clicks and they say okay sure it's late okay. it is such a process like so much paperwork it needs to go through like testing it needs to go through so many people so many channels and to a point where i was really giving up and eventually one day woke up and got a call that we are in we are within so now flutter by lkg pads but where are my pads? Mm. Do you know where they are? The makeup room, ne? Yeah. In the drawer. You'll see a packet there. Give <laughs> over. the violence. Thank you, Clara. Appreciate you. So my sanitary towels are, are available now at Clicks. Dolce! No. Guys, my dogs like coming into the house and I don't like that. I love my dogs, but I don't like them in the house. So, um, yeah, there was that. So now my pads are available at Clicks. I think I said that. I'm saying it again in case you guys forget. Please go buy them. Please support my business to, to, uh, to those that have been supporting my business. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Like, I see your love. I appreciate your love. And I love your consistency when it comes to supporting me. One thing I love about people that love me is that they are very consistent and they're extremely supportive and I don't want to say loudly but the people that support me are very not discreet but they don't need to make a noise they show me by buying my products you know voting for me winning awards I'm gonna show you my awards just now Merci beaucoup. thank you very much friend Baton. so yeah so these are my pads available at uh, clicks it's a big deal um i think i'm the only black girl on the shelves right now got sanitary pads i stand to be corrected but somebody said that and that's a big deal so please support my bad my pads they are 20 bucks a packet um non-funded and the reason why i keep saying that is that so many people are quick to say yeah, it's easy for you because you have been funded by government. No, I have not been able to receive any uh, support from the government and I'm not mad about it. I think it, 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 it has actually taught me a lot of, um, what can I say? Self-reliance. Self-reliance, yeah, 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 yeah. Dependency on myself, you know, um, and just really working harder. Max says two minutes. No way, Max. I haven't even made the sandwich, so let me quickly make the sandwich. Because I said I don't want the intro to be too long. So, okay, let me make the sandwich. So, while I'm rinsing here, guys, um, I'm making a salami for myself. And what's your name again? Clara. <laughs> Ma'am Clara. Clara. So, the pads are available at Clicks. But now, here's another bigger deal. The pads and the eyelashes are officially going to be available on Uber Eats. Oh my god! I had to do that. <laughs> so, actually, this is like an iPad of 
um, loading the store that's on online so in the next couple of weeks let me say a month just to be safe flat by LKG will officially be available on Uber Eats the pads and the eyelashes cannot wait a lot of women have been buying the eyelashes thank you very much for your support can I order that one Ari the eyelash brand I can assess Ian Zani what's what but anyway if only you knew how much money we make from these but a sequel app a sequel app so the pads are there uh, business is doing well it's booming um, what else the awards I spoke about the awards ne? so I want to take this moment also to say thank you thank you thank you to um, everybody that voted for me for uh, Basadi Awards that is appreciate hey yes yes you also voted i don't know about max but okay um thank you to everybody that voted for me i got entertainment radio presenter of the year this is like a big deal for me because i was up against like really really amazing uh, radio hosts so i'm really honored it says a lot about the amount of work i put in and that fact that uh, the fact that you guys re actually recognize my hard work so that's that's a big one and then ceo musadi in business award recognizing my business is a big deal for me and every day i look at these awards and i literally push myself to become better um without being too hard on myself but just bettering my businesses etc so big thank you to basadi awards for that um what else because we're running out of time i think other things i'll unpack in the other episodes ne? let me just finish this episode is there anything else that i left out friend no, I spoke about everything. Uh, so, throughout the next couple of episodes, I'll be speaking about things that you've probably been wondering what I, how, maybe if they have affected me or not. Others I won't because I'm like, no, they don't deserve my time. So, there's that. But otherwise, like, thank you to everyone that's really been like, I've been through some some tough times not really tough that is disgusting can i get doom Woo, guys living on a farm is a problem cover not on the it's not on the food it's here i saw it here bible it's not on the food. well hopefully you guys are going to enjoy my sandwich brought to you by doom with a touch of doom inside hmm? <laughs> Whoever dies is a Bugani. I know. I mean, I'm not a dying type. <laughs> but yeah, and I think I'll do also like a question thing where I give you guys an opportunity to actually ask me questions also. I'll pick out questions randomly and answer those. I'm pretty chilled. But guys, I'm back full on. And I promise to be consistent. I'm going to do, be doing a lot of vlogging with the different places that I'll be going to. So this year, I said this year is the year of experience. I said I don't want to spend my money anymore on um, clothes and cars and stuff. I want to spend my money on experience this year, meaning traveling. So I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling. I'm going on tour in May cannot wait so all my fans uh, supporters that are out in Gabana Dolce out thank you so all my fans that are in the States look out for me I will see you very soon my man what is it what do you want you want some salt <laughs> can we eat some he likes things. Don't you? <laughs> yeah, Baba. Okay, go out the house now. I'm gonna bring your sandwich. So, um, I'm gonna be on the road a lot with my gigs, etc. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. Marriage is amazing. Besides reading other things about my marriage. You know guys, like sometimes I ask myself. You know when. 
know sometimes I see things written about me, whether written or spoken about, and I'm like, but guys, sometimes kibal busar kuna le boko kamu or kuna le buze ako mining. Like, <laughs> no, but I really want to know. Like, is there a brain in here or kuna le buze? Because there are some things, guys, that not everyone, by the way. So this is not a blanket statement. Those that have followed my career know kuri. It's like ah, oh, whatever. But there's just certain things where I'm just like, Mara, for you to even ask me such a thing, like, kuna le kuna le boko kamu har or kuna le but some of the things I'll be addressing them not addressing we'll be talking about you know so yeah welcome back to my youtube channel it's going to be amazing and nearly done with my sandwich next I know one more minute one more minute I need the lettuce did I buy another lettuce here buddy You want lettuce, Clara? Okay. This is our vegetarian sandwich. Sorry, Max. We know that you are not fasting. This lettuce. We are going to from deep blue to Alexander. By Shapa Gamba, my own photo covered. Eh? The deep slot. Do you know we we actually I live in deep deep slot. Do you know that? Yeah? Yes. I live in Deep Slot. Yeah? Yeah. I actually li live in Deep Slot Extension. It's like, what's Badu Lang Alexander? What's Badu Lang Badu Lang Alex? Nidu Lako Sentin. What's Badu Lang Sentin? Nidu Lang Alexander. Technically. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. Don't be shy. It's fine. When I do like a Zan Sprite, where's that? But that's really port. Friend, your sandwich is nearly done. So yeah, guys, that's it. A bit of a catch up. I am back. And oh baby. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. Not holding anything back. Because also, I'm at a point in my life where I'm just like, I'm over holding things or over not expressing myself because what are people going to say? Or I'm supposed to be this person? Or what are brands? You know, someone the other day said to me, Clara, Arim, what did she say? So basically, we were having a back and forth, right? This person had provoked me, whatever, da da da. And then she basically insinuated that I can't retaliate because. I've got brands that I work with. I said, first of all, I don't, I don't work with stupid brands. Let's start there. No, honestly, I don't work with stupid brands. I work with brands that are very much aware that there's tabloids, there's gossip, and as long as it does not affect our relationship or whatever it is, it is what it is. But also, is it not your platform? Like, yeah, exactly. No, but basically, no. I want to show you for Nasile, Joamuto Nasile, because. And I won't be able to retaliate because I just think about my brands all the time. Because there's this whole thing of like personalities can't do certain things or won't say certain things because we are so worried about brands. Nah. First of all, most of my money does not come from brands with all due respect. Most of my money comes from gigs and I think I've said this many times. And I'm not even trying to disrespect brands that I've worked with, but yo. And secondly, the brands I work with are very, um, very much aware of how the industry moves and what happens, etc. So, please stop threatening us with brands. Rish up, we are good. Speaking of being good, so yeah, so this is the year for me of. There's actually a TikTok that's trending of me. I don't know if you've seen it, where I'm saying this is the the year of responding. I I'm tired of keeping quiet. I'm tired. If 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 you are going to address me like a dog, trust me, I will address you like a stray dog. 50-50. Treat people the way that they treat you. And I will treat you the way that you treat me. So yeah. Otherwise the sandwich is done. We are good to go. 
it looks delicious friend yeah i know you want to bite let me cut it up so yeah stay tuned thank you very much for tuning in i'm back full swing um we'll be keeping you updated about so many things that are happening in my life but otherwise health is good i'll also be talking about surgery that i went for last year there's been a lot of speculations about surgery that i went for apparently i went for a bbl i'm like if i went for a bbl actually i wouldn't go and do sichuan i'm not thinking i just a bit like my bum definitely does not look like i got bbl done and also like you know what's funny black people if you went for like a tummy tag or lipo bpl guys first of all let's all actually <laughs> understand the meaning of what bbl is bbl is brazilian butt lift so it's about the bums marahu it's not about this area so when people say they went for a tummy tuck or liposuction or they went for whatever stop saying we left for bbl uh, so i went for surgery and i'll be telling you guys a little bit about the surgery i went for the experience how it was if i would do it again definitely i think this year i'm actually going in harder 